Hello, this is Mick J. And here's this oscilloscope that I got. Um, it doesn't seem to work. I'm going to try to hopefully repair it. Um, but it's a Acura 100 Nicolette. I think it's a digital, pretty, uh, well, I'm pretty sure because it seems like a computer too. Um, but I think it was made around 2000. Um, so it's not that old. Um, but it's got an LCD screen. It looks pretty nice actually. Um, but. I mean, it's plugged in, and nothing happens. I tried replacing the fuse, so, and that did not do anything. Um, but it's got USB ports, um, keyboard, mouse, um, video output. So it seems like it's a computer, too. So I don't know. It's like so I'm going to have to open it up and see what, what's inside. Looks like it has Windows 2000 Pro. Okay, so I got all the screws out. It does look like somebody's had this open before because one of the screws is sheared off. Um, and also the warranty sticker was already broken. So. Alright, there's the cover off. That looks like just like a computer. Exactly like a computer, right? That part. So it must have the oscilloscope part. Ah, there's the oscilloscope part. So... Hmm. Interesting. So it looks like this is the power supply right here. So I would guess that that's the problem. But, not sure. Luckily, it looks like it uses just a normal computer power supply, so I might be able to, well, sort of normal. I mean, the plug is the same kind as, well, except for the part that goes, yeah, so it probably wouldn't be replaceable, except with the same type. Hmm. I don't know, I'll have to examine it more. Possibly open up the power supply and see if there's any more fuses inside the power supply, or... Busted capacitors. Yeah, that's pretty neat. It doesn't look that old. Intel. Hmm. So yeah, it's got two graphics cards though. Or I think. This is one graphics card here. I guess this isn't a graphics card. Although it does have a video output. And it also has a... Not sure what kind of port that is. But yeah, looks like it's... It's got a lot of room in here, but that's just like normal computers. And it's got a hard drive. It's 20 gigabytes, so it's not that big, but... Don't think he'd be storing very much on this. So, so I don't know, I'll examine it more and get back to you. All right, so I figured because the power supply um, has two outputs here, this one goes to the actual, the main computer part, which is this part, and then this part goes to the oscilloscope part, the underneath part. Um, and they're basically two separate pieces, except in this card here connects them. Um, it seems like this card actually does multiple things. It's actually a graphics card for the LCD display, and there's a ribbon cable that goes over to the other graphics card. Um, and it also has the ribbon cable that connects the two together. So, yeah, it does. And also the control board plugs into that too, so this does pretty much everything. Um, but I figured that since this is basically the same thing, or it's just a standard plug, a normal power supply should boot up the, or should power, should be able to power the computer part. So we'll see if that works. Put it in here. Uh, turn it on. There we go. Boot up screen. 1996. Or 1996 to 1999.
seems happy. It's booting up, I guess. Now it does seem to come up with errors. Um, the says that the some error with the um, because the oscilloscope part doesn't have any power, so it can't boot up all the way. Or it can boot up all the way, it just uh, that gets errors and then it gets stuck. So it should work once if I get power to the um, uh, other part. But there we go, it's booted up. Okay, so I've got the power supply hot wired here. Um, it's on, or it's plugged in. Um, but the fans should be spinning right now, but nothing's happening. So I guess there's some problem with it. Um, so I'm going to have to start metering around and see if there's power or what. So, so yep, I don't know. Seems to be power supply problem. All right, so I guess it's just I'll have to find a new power supply. Um, I looked around on the internet a bunch, and I did. I found one website that um, has that is advertising these power supplies, but they're in the UK and they repair them. So I think it'd probably be too too expensive to ship it out there and get it fixed. So I guess my next thought is to, because it just uses standard outputs, or somewhat standard, the older power supplies use these, um, it's got 5 volts at 18 amps, minus 5 volts, 18 amps, 3.3 volts, or wait, yeah, 3.3 volts at 15 amps, 12 volts at 1.6, um, another 12 volts at 3.3 seven and another or minus 12 at two and another five volts at 0.75 so hopefully I might be able to find a power supply that has those outputs um, just a computer power supply and hotwire it to these um, so that that might be my best it's only 250 watts so I don't know that might be my only option um, because I don't see anything that's obviously blown in here, um, so I might have to do something like that. I don't know. Gotta get this out of here. I examined the, the whole thing, and I don't see any. It looks fairly well made, but it must not be very well made if it failed. So, um, but the only thing that I did find that was sort of suspicious was this, um, it was clamped on here, um, but I think this is a little thermistor, I'm guessing, um, but it measures 50, this one measures 50 ohms, um, and this one, when you wiggle the wires, it changes, so, um, so it goes from, like, 50 to 0 ohms at some times, and even, so something's wrong with that one, I think, um, so that could be the problem. I did re I did replace it with just a 50 ohm resistor, and it didn't still didn't work. So, um, so if you guys have any tips, um, any things to try, or if you have any ideas on how to repair this, um, please post a comment. I'd really appreciate it. Um, I'd really like to get this um, oscilloscope working because it seems like a really nice oscilloscope. Um, so yeah. Yeah, but I looked on eBay, and I don't know, I couldn't find anything, so. So, yeah, um, thanks for watching.